Yeah, and the topic is self-love. So talking about self-love, um, now for example, if I say I would like to do something and it's not common, maybe in my culture, in my own part of the world, and people will be like, no, don't do it. And they will try to talk you out. For example, I was discussing with you the other day about making videos as a hijabi woman mm -hmm. and all that. So, but the thing is, if another person now tries to do the same thing and they become successful, they'll be like, yes, what do you think? She has put herself out there. She's mm -hmm. not eligible, all those things. And then they will turn around and shame you that, see, you're a failure because you did not go ahead to do mm -hmm. what you love, you love or what you like to do. Exactly. I think that also comes with with the notion that okay you yourself you find yourself saying you cannot do it and you find validation in somebody mm -hmm. else and, but if you believe like i think in one of our episodes um we were talking about uh, some one of our guests was talking about uh, affirmations mm -hmm. you understand looking uh, talking to yourself Still knowing so. that you can do it you the, the mind is a very strong thing if you tell yourself you can do it every day and you remind yourself you're bold you're beautiful you're incredible you can do it, you're brilliant and then your islamic it will not in any way hinder or be constrained to your islamic morals go for it yeah. since you know that there is no place in the quran or the hadith that tells you i'm not allowed to do that because for the as long as we know the history of islam has not allowed women to be subjugated in any way it has been a religion has been fair to us liberation for women if you look into islamic history and everything about islam yes we mm. stand for so as long as the you we need to we need to shy away from that sociocultural prejudice mm. the, the the morals that contradicts the islamic values you know sometimes it becomes a problem for you to go further in life to excel you know right? it said you should it's our time here is short so we must live our life so well but at the same time leave that okay we can leave this world mm. we can exit this world at any period in time but you know what? Um, I have this unpopular opinion that mm -hmm. don't you think um, being tidy, looking nice, smelling good is also part of self-love? That's, that's, that's very important. I can tell you that I've met people that would hide, uh, hide behind religion and say, mm -hmm. you, know, you know, the religion said the women shouldn't do this, women shouldn't use perfume, all those things, and it will be terrible. And that should be part of what are the things that is going to boost your confidence mm -hmm. and your self-love so like the way you dress when you go out the way you walk the way you hold yourself as a person that's how you get dressed makes a very huge difference there was a time i when i was still really young i i, I dressed like a like a, a huge you know with the whole um but you got everything with the cup you know and i get now i, I went to <laughs> i went to the bank and See someone that was really older than me calling me sir because I looked you know, mm. the, the respect that I was getting was not yeah. something that I would get if I should wear my you know the usual you know uh, jeans and top. And, uh -huh. So it's not like you you don't you don't lie to yourself and be like you know I I I, I love myself and I'll wear whatever I want to. Or you reduce yourself into wearing rags because you don't want people to think ah you're overdressed for the situation and all mm -hmm. that. You know sometimes what nowadays you can't blame certain people. <laughs> We're in a society where even if you're invited to a wedding, some people will dress to pass the Amaria. <laughs> but we're not saying. But come on, just because uh, there is uh, Islam has put a certain. Um, guideline mm. or for us to to come out you understand but be modest and all that you you and thoughts and uh, exactly yeah. you There's can't even another smelling. way to look at it for example if mm. cleanliness is part of godliness exactly that's you're setting strong. an example okay i am a muslim i need to look this way I'm, i need to be clean or something some people will go to the masjid looking dirty Islam. you're going in front of allah to worship him mm -hmm. so why won't you be your best there was a time in my madrasa my madrasa my malam was telling me that if the way we get dressed when we want to go to a wedding or something if we could only do that when we are about to pray to god mm -hmm. the malaikas do they all around the saints everything that is very good why can't we do that get all dressed up bit sometimes you know we just carry the hijab any time and wear and just pray mm -hmm. and all that even sometimes during ramadan you know sometimes um there's the miswork now sometimes yeah. you know if you are fasting there's a way you, you, must be swell. you just think hey, yes eh, ibadah yes mm. it's it's your deen it's and it has its virtues 
as well. But so at least there are options, you understand? But like you said, cleanliness is next to godliness. Just because um, Islam said we should not entice you. So there's deodorants you could use. Yeah. You cannot go out to the public and smell. That one too, you, it's another thing to talk about. You see somebody <laughs> in the crowd, you cannot even stand the person. Or when you're in, 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 in the mocks, you're trying to pray, you're in... Um, Mm. You understand, right? Uh, it's it's yeah. uncomfortable. <laughs> so my dear, you're lying to yourself you if you're smelling and you say it's Islam. Sebi Debi, you should be smelling. <laughs> Islam said you should be smelling again. Oh, oh this you. is getting interesting. Uh, Debi was still the show dean, and Dunya, I like to ask my co-host mm. to give us some advice, you know, on how to love yourself, Habiba. Mm. Mm. Well, um, loving yourself is a very very important thing. Is you know the mind is a very powerful thing, like we said. I, I still have what Coach Gigi was talking about in her mind saying daily affirmation. Mm. So now I have decided that me too, not just for you, I'll be reminding myself I am bold, I am beautiful, I am intelligent, I am a Muslim woman. Mm. And then Allah has endowed me with such things so that I would share my intelligence, I would do whatever it takes to okay. make positive impact, add value to myself and my family and people around me. Yeah. So love yourself enough to be able to to spread it out into the world. You understand yeah. that? So that people would not just respect you and also hold you high. Mm. And then the acts of charity, yeah. you know. Yeah. We are not saying you should discomfort yourself, so, you understand, but if you have the means if you have five new clothings and you think you have to sp yeah. you, you can ones. give two or three no don't be you understand but you have to be comfortable to yourself so, understand but, but not at the expense of don't go and give out something at the expense of your own your happiness well or anything of your yeah. own well-being if you're sick you are not saying that charity is a must when you have the means mm, you can okay. do it mm. so please let's love yourself enough and also in loving yourself don't be too selfish and too self-centered and be self-absorbed yeah it's so very Rashid, important we need advice there is, there is a friend of mine Faiz. i learned i learned a lot from him you see when people are like because he was actually a bit short so people are like oh my god you're short too and you'll be like ah i see fine <laughs> it's i like that, that. Uh, it's, uh, it's it's something he always says it and you'll be like ah we'll find back like that kind of thing mm. that you even begin to start feeling him he made a lot of people to like him because of how he was able to he, he was able to when you tell him something he's doing wrong he will pick it he'll pick the positives out of it and work on himself so it's like you need to know yourself in a manner that when things happen you know where to go you should take the take um the positive parts from your past experiences and use it to improve on yourself you can never stop being a better person you can never stop improving on mm -hmm. yourself mm -hmm. so from time to time really try to make yourself you know just look in the mirror once in a while be like ah i'm fine you know, like, I'm, I'm, <laughs> pretty, I'm handsome i'm beautiful and all that learn to be able to put yourself out there when you want to in a manner that does not become detrimental to Expressive. you yeah. it's be, be able to express yourself and tell people and when someone does something if you don't like it try to be able to explain to the person that this thing doesn't really it's not and some people might be bullies and once you see that you've tried once you've tried twice please just cut off these are really good advices thank you very much so you know they say uh if you love somebody mm. you're going to th treat them with so much care love mm. support you pamper them so why not do that same thing to yourself love yourself enough and i will tell you that you're a creation of allah you have no limit to anything you can do exactly. you're powerful you're intelligent so whatever you want to do so long as you do not disobey allah just go for it mm. and you will be fine sure. dear viewers it's still the show in Adunia. And our topic has been self-love. So watch out for more episodes. Inshallah, we'll try to bring issues and then find solutions to them. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.